Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scratch character that animates through costumes and plays sound when you press a certain key. Alright, to start off, we're going to choose a sprite. I'm going to search up a penguin for my sprite. Alright, now that we have our sprite, we're going to go to events and get our starting block. And then we're going to put a forever under the starting block. And inside the forever, we're going to put an if then. In the little diamond of the if then, we're going to want to put the, a key press button and change the key press to right arrow. And now we're going to want to add controls for what the right arrow does. So the right arrow, we're going to want to make it point in direction. And we're going to want to make it move. So this makes it move right. Now we're going to want to do the same thing for the left arrow key. And to do that, we can do a little trick by clicking here and click it duplicate and just putting it right under the if then and switch this around to left arrow whoops left arrow and switch this to negative 90 degrees so it's pointing to the left and now you got a working left right also make sure to go to direction and click this middle left right button to make sure that the sprite doesn't flip upside down when you're clicking left and right now we're going to want to add a backdrop. To do that, we can go here and search for a backdrop. I'm going to be using this Arctic backdrop. So I want to make the penguin slide down the hill and run it up the hill. But the Arctic looks kind of flat. So to do that, I'm just going to edit the backdrop to tilt it and make it look more like a hill. To do that, we're going to convert to a vector. And we're going to tilt it a bit like this. Bring it up inside so you don't see the white borders on the edge. And now it looks a lot more hill-like. As you guys can see, the penguin is moving left and right and looks like it's kind of sliding and not moving his legs or arm. Luckily, the sprite has costumes which makes it uh, make it look like it's moving. So you can add a looks command and add a neck costume into the movement and make it look like it's running now. I'm only going to do this for the right arrow key because I'm going to make it, be making it run uphill and then slide down the hill. Now to make it slide down the hill, we're going to go to motion and add a glide block. Now it's sliding down the hill. But as you guys can see, it's kind of like stopping at a certain place. To fix that, you're just going to want to move the X, -watt, the X axis further down to around like 250 now it's moving down the hill now we're gonna want to add our sound that makes it sound like it's sliding down the hill uh, I have my own set of sound that I found online so I can upload it through here and it's like the snow sound I'm just gonna trim it up a bit and soften it up Now that we have our sound in, we're going to go to the sound tab here and add a play sound until done. It's important you add the until done and add it into the block. We're going to run into a little issue here. And as you can see, when you go down, it starts putting the sound at the end of all the blocks. Even if you put it all the way up to the front, it would still make a little issue. And it wouldn't go through these blocks until this is done playing the sound. So to fix that, we're going to make a new set of commands and add a start, add a forever, if then, a key press into the diamond and make that into a left arrow and add the play sound inside the left arrow and then inside the new set of commands. Just like that, the issue should be fixed. And now it looks like it's sliding down the hill. Now we have a scratch with moving costume and style when pressing a key. Like and subscribe for more.